Hey, y'all. What's up? It's your girl. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hope one, everyone is having a good evening um, on this Saturday. Um, I want to send a special shout out to a guy on YouTube. Um, Quan. I think his name is Quan Train. And if I said your name wrong, please forgive me. But he made a shrimp with lobster and baked mac and cheese, y'all. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna be honest with y'all when I when I say what I'm about to say. Y'all, my daughter and I, we made that um we made his shrimp pasta with lobster. Man. <laughs> When I tell y'all about the goodness, there we go. When I tell y'all about the goodness of this dish, I hope y'all go and watch his videos too and cook what he cooked because y'all, take these glasses off, it's slamming. Okay, so when I say it's slamming, I mean it is slamming, you know? Okay, so anyways, I want to come over here and update y'all. Um, my surgery is scheduled for Tuesday. I have to be at the hospital at 5.15 a.m. So, I have, well, after today, it'll be three days. Two days. Yeah, two days. <laughs> I'm nervous a little bit, a little bit. I kind of know what to expect, but like I said, it's it's been some years since I had this surgery done. So, um, I'm all good. You know, I'm, I'm going to be all right. Um, the main reason for this video, um, my bad y'all, my eyes look a little crazy and everything, but that looks really weird. Oh, that looks really weird. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I think there's a little ish better. Okay. So I came on here to talk about a subject y'all. Okay. I'm trying to get comfortable and everything that I do is not working. So, okay. So as y'all know. You know, your girl, I'm, I'm, I'm a plus size woman. Okay. Um, I deal with certain, I deal with certain, certain areas when being plus size. And I want to come on here and talk about this subject with y'all because I feel I, I'm going to put my input in on certain subject when it comes to being plus size. So, um, First, first, first thing by being with being a plus size woman is clothes. Um, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a 10. I'm not no 14. I think I'm probably, uh, I'm a three X. There you go. Maybe two X, three X, something like that. So my clothes are expensive. I ain't gonna lie, my breast size, y'all, and I did talk about this too before in a previous video about I need help finding the bra. My breasts are a 40 triple D to a 42 triple D. My breasts right now literally are um probably a 44 triple D because I have put on I've I've gained some weight again. I ain't gonna lie about that, and that's not intentional. So when I get stressed out, I eat and that's just, that's bad. That's really bad. So, um, with me being on, let's see, four weeks of, of downtime, I'm going to do things differently. So, uh, is it in here? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna show y'all something. So yesterday, well, not yesterday, but, uh, Wednesday, my mom and I, and my daughter, we went grocery shopping and I got a Voss bottle. Matter of fact, I this is my second one. My glass, I have two of them. I'm going to start putting my water in here and having at least um, probably four of these a day. So prob so two in the morning and two in the evening. And these are, let me show you guys the size. I'm, 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 I'm touching on these subjects for y'all to let y'all know, you know, how I'm feeling about this stuff so this is oh right here it says it's 1.5 sorry for the backwards stuff it's 1.5 i think pints so i'm gonna have four of these a day so that way i can you know flush my system out um so that's one area about being plus size the next area is dating and 
as many of y'all know, I've been on POF a few times. Um, I also had a, I have right now, I have an account on tag.com. Dating for me, it's difficult. And I ain't gonna lie because, um, being a plus size woman, it's like some men like plus size women. Some men do not. Some men like little women. Some men like big women. Some men like women that are bigger than me. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever floats your boat. That's what floats your boat. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, guys who are like, I love me a big woman. You know, she know how to cook. She know what to do. Um, there's a lot more to her to love. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot more to her to put my hands on. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but nowadays what I'm finding is guys are, um, they don't want a commitment or they don't want to commit to me. I'm not talking about guys. Like I want a bunch of guys. No, I want one, one, uno. Okay. Uno. <laughs> I want one man. Okay. To love all of this and, 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 and my glory. All right. Okay. So, um, I'm, it is a challenge for me, but you know what? Um, I'm getting to the point now where I've, I've literally y'all put myself out there in a dating scene and I'm just like, I give up. I seriously, I give up. I've done, and I've done a video called I give up enough is enough. I guess I didn't learn my lesson yet, but now I'm tired. Y'all I'm so tired. I'm just like, Mm -mm. what's the point anymore of trying to date when a guy only wants you for sex and it's just like I'm not going to do that to, I am literally not going to do that to myself seriously I'm, I've learned the hard way y'all okay so um I think that being a plus size woman well for me it's difficult I'm not going to lie my health is it's like a borderline jeopardy right now but it's not so bad where I'm, I could die anytime. You know, I'm trying my best to eat the right foods and trying to get some exercise in and um, make sure that I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all can feel me on this. And with the plus size, you know, it, it takes on like literally being plus size. It's like your, your, your body is like, it's extra, it's extra folds, which means it's like an extra an extra fame of mine. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying because being plus size, y'all, it's it's a challenge, and it's just like if I could go and exercise and be going, if I could go walking for at least an hour a day, I really would. But my body's like, where you think you going? No, you ain't going to sit somewhere, okay? <laughs> but literally, I'm trying to reprogram my brain as it's saying Desiree we need to get up and we need to go for a walk and we need to go get in that pool I'm not gonna do it right now but we need to go get in that pool <laughs> and go 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 walk around the pool um y'all this is the killer part when I told my physical therapy people I had problems with my foot they dismissed me from my care because I I can't be on my feet I can't actively be on my foot well, both my feet and do the, do the physical therapy that I need to do in the pool. So that this is like, it's, ugh, what am I going to do now? I have to recoup. I have to have this surgery. Cause if I don't have this surgery, my foot is just going to get worse and worse and worse. And it's, it's, it's going to be bad. So there's a whole lot of things, uh, areas in, 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 uh, uh, platforms it is to be in a plus size woman. Okay. So it's saying that, let me move on. There's another area about being plus size that, uh, is, 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 is difficult for me. It's difficult, difficult. So being plus size, um, I feel like my, my self-esteem, my self-confidence, my love, the self-love, the self-respect I'm supposed to have for myself is at a low because, um, Am I, I'm asking myself on a regular, if, if people could see this, the, the self, my self-esteem, like, is it low people? If people could see how bad my self-worth is because I've been hurt so much, it's like my confidence, y'all literally it's like, 
it's not fair because I allow the guys, I, I literally, y'all, I'm thinking this stuff, if, is it, my self-confidence is low, my self-worth is low because guys have, I have a lot, I have, I want to, how I want to say this, like, people could say I've allowed men to use me, but not knowing what the outcome is because I have had so many failed relationships, so many dealings with guys have gone crazy wrong and it's just like okay is my self-worth crap because I haven't known myself I don't know my self-worth I'm asking questions I'm asking myself questions so it's like being plus size and not having a guy love you the way that you want them to it wears on you it wore on me you guys I'm trying to tell y'all it wore on me because I was like, well, damn, like, am I not good enough? Am I not enough? Am I too much? Am I asking too much? Am I, do I want too much? Am I saying like, I deserve to be happy? Am I saying like, like what the hell is wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just saying it's crazy because it's like, I'm not calling out no names to, for nobody to come subscribe to my channel, but I sit, I've, I've literally watched YouTube videos about Passion Jones and it's like, she was plus size like me too. And she got a man, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, okay, if she can keep her thing up and keep doing her channel and running her channel and she got a man, she got a husband and she got two beautiful sons, I could do it too. But I'm not at her level. And it's, it's like... Is, I'm telling y'all right now, it is hard for me. It's difficult because I'm thinking, like, why won't a guy love me? Why won't a guy, like, be what I need him to be and stop trying to run over me and stop trying to use me and stop trying to have me think if I have sex with him that he's going to treat me right? No. No. Y'all, I am literally, I'm on this point where I went on POF and I went on tag and I was letting niggas know I'm not about to let you use me. I am not about to let you sit here and just like put your dick in me and then you don't call me the next day. No, that's not going to happen. But <sighs> I'm telling y'all right now, that's all I've been getting. And like I said, I'll put my foot down. And if guys cannot understand what I want and what I need, then don't, don't, don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. And I will let them know from the gate. If you not with this, if you trying to have sex and just be out, do not call. Do, don't even like ring my phone. Don't even, don't even try to tr try to talk to me. If a guy comes to talk to me on POF, he will see my profile. That's real. And I'm like, if you can't handle that, then we don't have nothing to talk about. That's just all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I'm not, literally, y'all, I'm tired of guys trying to think they could get over me. That junk is out the freaking window because it's not going to happen. It's not. I'm emotional right now, y'all, because I have dealt with jackasses for the, like, um, the, the beginning of 2017, literally, I could name so many dudes right now I've dealt with that have tried to use me. And I'm just like, am I going to spend the next six months like this? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. So anyways, whoo, y'all, it's, it's been so difficult for me because um, I'm trying to be nice. I do not want to come off being rude. I don't want to come off as being like, dude, man, don't talk to her because she be tripping all the time. No, it's not like that. If I'm trying to hold myself at a high esteem, why can't a man do the same thing? Why do men have to act like that, that, that my lips and what's in between my legs, that's all there is. No, there's more to me than just these lips and what's in between my thick thighs. Get it together. That's all I got to say is get it together. I'm not accepting no, I'm not accepting no, no, a dime of a relationship from a man. I'm not accepting that. If you can't come at me like you got some sense, like you have been home trained, it's not going to happen. That's just all there is to it. So, like I said, I'm tired of guys just like, oh, well, I've been hurt, so I'm just going to use the next female and see what I can get out of her just for my own selfish gain. Why? 
And it's like, only thing men are doing is like killing my self-esteem. They're trying to, they're trying. They are literally trying to kill my self-esteem. It's not going to happen, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. So with all these areas that I'm talking about as far as um, my health, um, my clothes, <laughs> my confidence, all this stuff has to do with being plus size. So it's like, with all of that wrapped up into all this body, y'all see before you, okay, it's a lot. <laughs> it is literally a lot. Like, um, I started journaling and I started doing, I started doing a personal journal and I started doing Bible journaling and I started going to a, um, women's group, a women's group to, to build my, to rebuild myself because, it's like I was married. Uh, well, I've been divorced uh, is it two years now. A year or two years? I don't remember. I think it's been two years. <laughs> I think it's been two years. I think I'm not sure. But um, with me being married, me being divorced one to two years, it's like I've learned a lot. Not just about a man, men, but I've learned a lot about myself. So. I'm trying to get off this road, y'all, of having um, self-esteem issues. I'm trying to get off that road. I'm trying to get off of a yo-yo diet and a um, what is it? A yo-yo um, atmosphere. I'm trying to get off that because I can't stay on this road no more. It's literally driving your girl crazy. I don't want to be like that. So, anyways, y'all, um, I hope I'm helping somebody. I hope that. Everything I say to y'all today has helped you in some way. Or if you know someone who's plus size and they have um, confidence issues, I'm just going to tell you guys right now. My best advice to those who are dealing with self-esteem issues, go talk to a therapist. Go start journaling and start, or, and start praying and asking God to help you with them challenges because it's difficult being a plus size. I ain't going to lie about that. It's like, you want to be healthy and you want your self-worth to be shining, not like it's depleted. Your self-worth has to shine. So it's like with me, I feel like sometimes I'm going to kill somebody, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that because then that's like, um, that's a cop out way. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Um, I'm, I'm slowly rebuilding myself slowly and there's people who are helping me and I'm, I'm thankful for the help. There's people who actually care about me and they have my back. So yeah, y'all, I just thought I'd come on here and hopefully I help somebody today. That's all I'm saying. And, um, somebody can get help from my experiences and what I'm on here talking about the struggles of being a plus size woman. So if y'all have any questions, um, just hit it down in the comments down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Come subscribe to my channel. Come holler at me. Yeah, y'all. So, hopefully y'all are having a good day. Thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate y'all. And, um, hopefully we have a better year. Better next year. Better, better for the rest of the year. Hopefully the rest of this year is better for me. So, I holler y'all.